Welcome back to our special Senior K Day edition of Las Vegas Morning Glen. Now, if you've got shooting pain in your back or leg and you're sick of masking it with medication, what do you do? Well, you turn to the professionals who have the latest in technology designed to give you relief. And that's this man right here, Dr. Vladimir Sinkoff is with Nevada Orthopedic and Spine Center. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thanks now, for we were me. talking a little bit off camera because you are brand new to the Valley, just a couple months in. So tell us about your background. Sure. I've um, uh, been uh, practicing uh, orthopedic spine surgery fellowship training since 2010. I've uh, been in uh, New Hampshire for the past eight years and we just moved here last year. So now I'm joining the Las Vegas area. I've joined the Nevada Orthopedics and Spine Center and so practicing spine surgery there. And you've probably seen throughout the years that low back pain, a very common problem. So I'm starting to get it as I age a little bit. What can people do really to prevent it? Sure. A low back pain is a very common problem. Um, it's the second most common reason uh, people see a doctor in United States, a World Health Organization rated it as number one reason for disability worldwide. So it's a very prevalent problem, can be pretty serious. A lot of time back, back pain most of the time is a muscular problem. So the key thing people can do to prevent it or lower the chance of that happening is to exercise, to uh, do core strengthening exercises. There are many ways to do that. They can look them up on the internet. Probably the easiest thing is to talk to a personal trainer in a gym or ask your doctor to refer you to a chiropractor or a physical therapist where they can teach you how to do them. The stronger your core muscles are, the more flexible they are, the less likely you are to have pain. Uh, another thing that sometimes causes low back pain is obesity. So obviously uh, preventing obesity, preventing excessive weight gain can help. And a lot of times I see smoking as a cause of low back pain. Smoking is bad for many areas of your body, including your back. The discs in your body get very little blood supply to begin with. Nicotine decreases blood supply in the body, so it can cause them to degenerate faster and cause chronic low back pain. Let's uh, be honest. Some people could be a little stubborn and don't really want to go see the doctor. They might just want to tough it out. So <coughs> what do you really do when saying to that person, you know, you need to come see a specialist sure. when you have that problem? Sure. Fortunately, most of the time, low back pain will go away with time. The times when you start thinking about seeing a healthcare practitioner would be if the back pain lasts more than six uh, weeks. Typically, most muscular pain should go away by that time. If you start having severe shooting pain down the leg below the knee, a lot of people uh, call it sciatica, that typically means that there may be nerve compression in your back and that may be a good reason to have it checked out. Obviously, if your pain is severe and disabling, even if it's been less than six weeks, if you cannot move around, cannot function, cannot go to work, that's a reason to see a practitioner. Um, if the nerves are really compressed, potentially people may have uh, problems with bowel or bladder control. If that happens, that is considered a spine emergency and you really need to be seen right away. And that's kind of when you kind of get into the surgery phase and there are some new innovations when it comes to spine surgery. And I know we have some pictures to show of one of them. What are those new innovations? Um, spine surgery lately has been going through a lot of innovations, a lot of new technology. Um, one of the innovations I'm really excited about is robotics and spine surgery. Yeah. The robots have been used in general surgery for a couple of decades now in spine surgery. They're just coming up. Um, the robots can make surgery more efficient, safer, more predictable, and less invasive. So another big innovation that I tip, uh, myself practice a lot and try to teach other surgeons and educate patients about is minimally invasive spine surgery. Spine surgery typically used to be a very invasive procedure. Spine is in the middle of the body. It's really hard to get to it without causing too much damage. Therefore, by doing it in a minimally invasive fashion, we can do the same spine surgery with same good results, but with a lot less collateral damage, which causes a lot less potential complications and a lot faster recovery. And that's kind of more the benefits of it than going the traditional way. Exactly. Is there an age limit? Uh, there is really no age limit for spine surgery. It's more of a health limit. I have had several patients who are n over 90 years old and they were healthy enough. We did spine surgery, did it great and recovered. There are some 40 year olds that are simply too sick to have spine surgery and we cannot do that. With age, obviously, you may have more uh, health conditions, and those would be really the ones that would prevent somebody from being eligible for spine surgery. With that said, with minimally invasive surgery, since it's less risky, we can get away with doing surgery on sicker patients and still get them better and give them better quality of life. So if we want to start the ball rolling, how do we do so? Where are you located? Uh, well, uh, I'm with Nevada Orthopedics and Spine Center. We have two offices, one in Henderson, one in the northwest area of Summerlin. And we can um, see you at the Henderson one? Uh, they both? can see me in both. both? I go to both. Perfect. 
and we have one of those locations right there on your screen. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in with us this morning. I feel like I should have stretched this morning. There's, it's never Any too good late. time before? Never too late. Never too late? Perfect. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do something about your pain. Don't just live with it. Nevada Orthopedic and Spine Center, located right off Summerlin Parkway in Buffalo. And you heard the doctor. There's one in Henderson as well. Their phone number and website right there on your screen. They're a proud sponsor of Las Vegas Morning Blend.